Got the gazelle tunnel going. The truck. It's like so dark out here. There's the Steinmans, Mike and Rach. Brought us out here to the sweet spot. And it just rained, so it's like straight up rainforest. All these worms are out on the ground. And the kids are going crazy. What'd you see? What are you cold? Yeah. Silly. You killed two worms in one day. It'll be alright. No! One of them is all day. Finally got the expedition back on the road. Feels amazing. The money spent, energy and time spent. It's just crazy. So I don't think we've been up to the pines for at least six, seven months at least. Um, yeah, I did great, did great. Climbed up all the hills, didn't overheat, had plenty of power. Couldn't be happier right now. Plenty of worms! Um, made it to the spot, uh, just setting up camp right now, and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. It's beautiful out. All right, first night. This week, this trip, this weekend, we had the gazelle tent as a family. We were rocking. Um, it was a little bit, uh, mattress situation was not super great. So yeah, the, the mattress situation was not good. Um, they all got flat, like air mattresses always do. <laughs> uh, the hiking pad did great. Um, that looked pretty comfy. I didn't get to sleep on it, but Scarlett did. Scarlett had the most comfortable sleeping situation last night. What's it called? Thermo Rest? Yep. Thermo Rest Base Camp. Pretty dang comfy. So, um, but yeah, the overall, the Gazelle with the family, family of five, just the Overland Edition. Yeah. Slay the setup is just crazy fast easy um I mean, we were ready to rock in like five minutes so love that part also loving not having a roof tent on top uh saved a lot of weight up there um we've got the fridge now the ice co fridge being powered by our Wagon Tech power box. So. Oh, fridge. There you go. No more ice. All right, so we've got the Ice Co. fridge, uh, the 47 quart mounted right now in our second row in the middle seat so it's hanging out there i've got these straps on there to kind of tie it down definitely want to find something better for that situation um i mean obviously we want to have it in the back on a slider on the back drawer back here i just don't have a slider yet for this fridge and I also want to redesign this drawer into aluminum to be super strong. But yeah, so when we're driving around, I'm gonna actually power it off the 12 volt plug-in back here. And then when we get to camp, we'll have it plugged into the lithium cube, the wagon tech. So that's this right here. And it's just uh, not drawing any power right now. On the 12 volt side, it will stay on, I believe, for two hours. And it'll hold temperature and then turn back on when it needs to cool down. So, pretty sweet. Have some fun today and uh, we'll see what happens. This campsite Mike found us is just wild. Just a forest, jungle forest.
and it for sure rained last night right before he came in because everything is wet right now soaking wet and it was dripping off these trees all night on the tent but yeah it's just amazing out here back in the valley it's like 105 degrees it was probably 60s last night 70s right now An apple. where where is the apple Oh, there it is. We found an apple tree. We must, we can't be in Arizona. I'm gonna eat the apple in three, two, one. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? It tastes like. Eat it, come on. You even take a full bite. Don't waste the apple. What's wrong with you? It's kind of cold out here, but right now we're going to go on a hike and have fun and go play by the water. And cool. I did not. You can try this hand sanitizer apple? No, I waited for you to do it. You were going to make me a apple sauce cocktail or oh, something? Oh, okay. Okay. Tree right there, get on it. Applesauce cocktail thing. Yeah. Okay. What are the ingredients for that? Um, Google it. <laughs> we don't have Google out here. <laughs> Good YouTube. Look at YouTube. Flowers can get bigger though. So pretty up here. Love the woods. You can almost hear the creek down there. What did you guys find? Ooh, yummy. Got this neat little waterfall right here. Mm, so cool. Whenever you can find water in Arizona camping, that's what you want. That's ideal. Super cool. You guys hot? No, you're not going down there. Going for a bath? No. Ethan, you want to go for a bath? No. <laughs> come on, come on, Daddy. Daddy, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ella, you stay here. <laughs> Ella wants to go, Daddy. Where do you want my phone for a light? Yeah, I need a light. You don't need no light. Don't give it to me your phone. Is it? No. Yeah. So, go. Go, Scar. Go, go first. Can somebody come with us? Just go. Oh, there's a fat web ring. You got a spider web? Yep. Is that the end of our trail? That is the end of our trail. Hey guys. We made it. We made it. There you go. Dark crowd is the dude. Was it all you thought it was going to be? Keep the tunnel. All right, so we're gonna head out. We got some uh, afternoon showers coming in, super sweet. Do some exploring, driving around, see what's up here. There's all new, new trails for us. Like I said Mike brought us up here. Um, it started raining pretty good, but you know, tents are set up, so it's just a matter of getting in and out where we gotta go.
pretty cool road though. Just kind of keep going up the mountain. Uh, the rain is preventing me from getting outside and videoing the trucks, so <laughs> I'll try and get some later. Don't worry. Wow, this is crazy. Top of the mountain up here, just insane. So beautiful. How is this Arizona? I mean, look at those canyons and mountains. What are we looking for? Okay. Some prehistoric furniture. Historical marker? Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Just amazing out here. Beautiful. It's a great spot, Mike. It's beautiful. Perfect. Perfect out here. No. Now it's like hot. It was like rainy, now it's like hot. Like cold and rainy. Yeah. That's a rock. Oh, 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 I see it. Gone. Gone. Nope, Better hurry up, Ash. See it right there? Yep, I see it. Get it. Better hurry up. Things leaving. No, hey, did we not. find a geocache? This one's fast. Go on, get it. All right. I got it. Oh, oh a geocache. Mm -hmm. Oh man. It's your Wheaties, bud. <laughs> Jolly. Christmas cookies from 15 years ago. <laughs> Amazing. That one's. Twist it. Yeah, that lid's no joke, ain't it? Geocache. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A three trophy hunts. Wait, let me see. Oh, there's the mask. Uh oh. Found him. A three. Let me see. Must be animals up here. What else we got in there? Like cigarettes. Cigarettes. $1 bill. Ooh, Dollar. Q tips. 13 millimeter. A mask. <laughs> a nine millimeter. Some tools. Wait, you could you could tell. Plugs? What is for? I don't know. Probably for a Ford. Definitely for a Ford. There you go, some hydration. No. That's your uh, daughter. Put her back in there. That's a big one. It's just crazy how it goes from pouring down rain to now it's just sunny and like moderately hot. It was just crazy. We're up here uh, by Globe, Arizona, and Mama. on this peak, there's just beautiful, beautiful country. Let's go see what Mike needs. What's that? I think this is the road we'll take. Look in the GPS. Deep rustery. All right, awesome. We can take this forest road a little bit. All right. That ends, then we have lunch. All right, sounds good. Time to eat. Time to eat. <laughs> Love this weather. <laughs> Hanging out in the Darchi awning. Love it. 
Just raining all day, off and on. Dries up and then comes back on again. And if you stand in the trees, it's almost like a mist. I know, right? Because the trees are like breaking up all the droplets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just coming down, pouring. That's Ethan. <laughs> Ooh, yum. You're looking dinner right there. Mac and cheese. Ooh, Bovida. What you got brewing, chef? Uh, we got spaghetti. Ooh, and for and uh, and some and some bread here. Some Caesar or some uh, cheesy bread? Some garlic bread. Nice. Time to go old school. Heck yeah. Ethan, come here. Yummy. That looks good. What are you guys getting? Uh, we're doing mac and cheese. And beer brats and hot dogs. Ooh, that sounds good too. Ethan, mama, now. Tiny humans. You barefoot. Damn. You escaped your prison. Get back in there. <laughs> Get back in there. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Rained all night. Love it. Hot breakfast. French toast and sausage. So I really wanted to try these out, but unfortunately, I know it's raining and it's like muddy as all get out, but there is a fire ban. So, gonna have to save this for this winter. Uh, it's basically a fire starter kit. Um, it's supposed to work well in the rain. I know, I know. But it comes with a little bag of these they call them plugs. Um, you bend them in half, and they reveal these fibers that are supposed to catch, you know, fire in any condition. So, snow, water, rain, whatever. Then you got your uh, fire starter, your flint, your striker. Um, you can use this, or obviously a match, you know, lighter. So. Very cool stuff. I wanted to try it out, and I mean, I would really love to do that, but fortunately, there's a fire ban where we're at, so just gonna have to wait till winter time. But yeah, if you guys are looking for something, check these out. These are from Bigfoot Bushcraft, and they sell a bunch of different stuff on there, so check them out. Wrapping the weekend up uh, with the first run on the Iceco fridge, and so far, uh, loving it. Kept everything cold. Um, it was reliable. We've been powering it with the lithium cube from Wagon Tech, but mostly been running off the DC power. Um, huge improvement from the ice chest. Having to deal with water and ice over everything. Um, big benefit. We're able to put a lot of our food into Ziploc baggies, so that was really nice. Um, and then we're just putting this on this trip in the center seat of our second row, just because I need to get the slider back here done. It's just not there yet. So uh, we put our one of our kids in the third row, extra seat, and then one child here, and then Scarlett was over here in the car seat. So yeah, so far the ice go. Solid product. Um, the only one thing it did, is I have to look this look into this, but it threw a code yesterday and it kind of turned off. Um, I looked it up later and it said it was have to do with low voltage. So, um, so I had it plugged into the car. There's a cigarette lighter back here in the corner, and I had it plugged into that. So 
Uh, I'm not sure what that was about, but levers plugged up to the DC on the lithium cube. It's been great. has worked fine. We've been running it at about 38 degrees all weekend long. You know, it was comfortable. We had air mattresses. Uh, I think one of the air mattresses kind of went out, but it just barely fit us. We have the Gazelle Overland model. Um, it was just tight. It was definitely tight for us. It was super easy getting it set up. I imagine it'll be just as fast tearing it down. Um, you know, we've got just a water tank on the roof now. So we've saved a lot of weight from the rooftop tent. And I'm kind of thinking that we'll be able to pull in the garage as well now. So, but um, kind of the negative part is we don't really have any shelter from the rain like we used to have with the Annex. That's what Mike and Rach have right here. That's their Annex. And they also have a um, awning, so that's really sweet. But yeah, I don't know. Um, the 230 walk about 72 was getting small for us as well. So Mike had a pretty cool idea um, switching out to a bigger size and that would hopefully be able to fit the whole family up there comfortably. Because ideally, I'd like to be able to have the whole family up on the rooftop tent, you know, if we're gonna do that permanently. So, you have to decide. Um, there's pros and cons to everything. You just kinda gotta decide on what's best, what's gonna work out. So the biggest factor to consider when we're out here is gonna be the safety and security of my family. That's number one. You know, I want to make sure that they are safe from animals and potentially from people. So the rooftop tent, that is probably the best option. For, definitely from animals. I mean, you're off the ground. You know, they're going to really, really want to bother you to get up on, on top of the rooftop tent. So, you know, obviously with the ground tent, you know, you're kind of vulnerable in that department. So, you know, we've got the dog, we got Fitzy, but it's still a risk. So... Like I said, I think the jury's still out. We need to go home and consider all the factors, all the options, and make a decision. But I just, it's a hard choice because I love this thing. It's so fast and easy to set up. It's just ridiculous. You know, I'm not dreading tearing down camp. You know, and not that the rooftop tent is hard either. It's still just as easy. I mean, it's an, it's an extra 10 minutes. Um, I think we were just struggling because our tent was a little bit older, so the bag is a little more worn out so I think if I refresh that the zippers will be brand new be a lot better but yeah I don't know we'll see what happens all right we're heading home on the road got all packed up and uh, just got treated with this beautiful scene right here just insane we got waterfalls with a massive canyon just love it I'm getting rained on all morning and uh, awesome just thick forest out there just thick for the sky <laughs> Can't see nothing. More raspberries. Yes, we are still in Arizona. Can you guys see the pears? Yeah. So sucker's tasty. Now my mm. dad, they're, they're good. My dad before was eating Oreos. Mm, tasty. He was eating Oreos. Pulled up the side of the road for the potty break and now we're picking for pears. There's Cassie down there, picking them all up. Super cool. Yeah. 
and get a quick lunch. Yeah. Pretty sweet spot here. Some good lunch spot right here. Me. Good lunch spot, Mike. It'd be all right. Good lunch spot. Daddy, look what I got. Yep, we got turkey. This is ham.